Hi everybody, this is Gracie here, and I wanted, and I know it's been a long time since I've done a video, but I wanted to do my review of the Lion King live action, and all I can say is it blew my mind. It was beautiful visually. The, the acting was amazing, and I, I'm honored that I got to see it on the 18th, the day before it came out, and really all I can say is it blew my mind. The only part that I didn't love was Scar's rendition of Be Prepared. It's a little bit different, a little bit shorter, and just less... I mean, a little bit more dark, but just less, like, cool, I guess. I don't know, to put it mildly, I guess. But overall, the movie was amazing. The three I saw it in 3D, and I and usually I don't watch 3D movies because it um because I find 3D kind of scary, <laughs> to be honest. But but because it's The Lion King, and I know the movie inside and out what to expect. I knew I could see it in 3D because it wouldn't scare me because I know what's going to happen. So that's why I saw it in 3D because I knew what to expect. But the 3D was awesome. Awesome. Uh, like I said, the acting was phenomenal. They definitely did live up to the, orig to the original. And I guess I just want to explain why The Lion King means so much to me. It's like, it, it's, my, it's been my favorite movie for as long as I can remember, just in general. Not even Disney movies, it's been my favorite movie in general for as long as I can remember. I dressed as young Simba for Halloween one year when I was like five. I used to play The Lion King movie downstairs in my basement with my little sister. And we used to act it out. I was always Simba. <laughs> and then she'd be Nala. And we'd act out the entire movie. I saw the... I finally got to see the... The, um... I finally got to see the, um... Broadway show two years ago. I think two years ago. As a Christmas present in... In, um, New York. That was beautiful. The Mufasa's death scene teared me up even though it, in the animation it doesn't tear me up as much because like I've seen it so many times and I know what to expect but seeing it live action like really like not the live action but seeing it like in real life just had me almost tearing up and I was kind of embarrassed because I was sitting with my older sister Steph and she kind of saw me tearing up and like I was like is she seeing me like this is so embarrassing but I couldn't help myself because like why this another reason why this movie means so much to me is because I I say it's me and my daddy's movie like I call him the I call him the Mufasa to my Simba cute I know <laughs> but because like our relationship really matches matches their relationship and like, I just have this enormous, um, I just feel this enormous weight to make him proud and to, and to grow up, to follow in his footsteps and, and like, just like, and like, just to, just like live up live up to him and just overall live live by his words and his actions and stuff like that so like and I love loved the um the um 
remember who you are seen in the live action because they added a few different lines that that weren't in the original that I thought really helped move the make the scene more moving and that scene means so much to me because like I envisioned my daddy saying that to me like never forget who you are you are my daughter so like that scene like really gets to me and like really sticks with me And I love, love, love how they had at least Mufasa be the same character, like James Earl Jones. The new cast did amazing, but I love how they brought him back because nobody can do Mufasa like James Earl Jones can. Just like how I felt about Scar, like, the, the new Scar did, did pretty well, but, like, just Jeremy Irons' voice is, like, so iconic as Scar that I thought, like, nobody could replace him. And that's kind of like how I felt about this whole movie, all the characters, is that nobody can play them better than the original. But they did live up to the original pretty well with the acting. Um, and, um, what else do I want to say? Um, Um, oh, I guess I'll show you, I guess I'll tell you what I got when I went to the movies. I got this mini popcorn bucket that says Lion King on it and has Mufasa and Simba on it. Like, it's pretty much the poster, the official poster, but on a popcorn bucket. And then I got this small little drink cup. That also says this, that it's also the same thing. It's way tinier than I, what I would have wanted, but still a good souvenir, I guess. Hmm, what else do I want to say? I probably should have thought of this before I started recording, but I just get brain farts sometimes. Oh, I know what I want to say. When I was so excited for this movie to come out, but I was also very afraid because what if they ruin my favorite movie of all time? Well, I kept telling people that everybody who'd ask me, are you excited for the new movie? I would say I am excited, but I'm also afraid because like if they ruin my favorite movie ever, I'll be in the angry mob that'll form. I'll be a part of that. <laughs> So, but luckily they did very well. I don't know why people are, are not liking this movie as much as I, as, I mean, a good amount of people are liking this movie and I'm not trying to turn you off of it because I loved it, but some people are saying that it, like, it stinks and like, I don't know what they're thinking, but people have their own opinions, so I guess that's why, but I really... I guess what I really want to close this video saying is it's a great movie. Go see it yourself. If you're a big fan of The Lion King like me, you're going to love it. It does the original justice. All about it. It's visually beautiful. The only thing that I... Another thing that I don't love about it is that you can't see the... And a lot of people have said this, is that because it's live action and the animals are supposed to look real, that... um. You don't see emotion in their face as much as the cartoon, well, the animation, which you can kind of expect because, like I said, it's supposed to be all, it's supposed to look like real lions, and real lions don't cry or look over happy or, like, stuff like that, so it's not something that you wouldn't expect, so it's not really a down point, but you know what I mean, but...
But as a fan of The Lion King myself, it, it's a beautiful film. It's very powerful as the original is. It's very powerful to me because I view myself as young Simba. Like I said, it's me and my daddy's movie. And I, like I said, I've always been young Simba pretty much. Like I said, I dressed up in, as him for Halloween. I played him anytime we reenact the movie downstairs. So like Simba's like my, he's always been my favorite character, but just like he is like, he always has a special meaning to me, just like the movie does. But to, clo to close this video, it's a wonderful movie. They did a great job. Disney did a great job at retelling the story. There's a few added scenes that are really good as bonus scenes that aren't in the original, but they did very well with doing that. And just overall, I give the movie a 10 out of 10. Because that's all you can do. It's a fantastic movie. And that's just pretty much all I can say. So I hope you guys see it too. Let me know your feelings in the comments below. Let me know if you liked it. What you what you think? Did it live up to your expectations? Let me know in the comments below. And I also want to tell you. And also I want to tell you in case you don't know my um. My Instagram is KingSimba246. Follow me if you want more Lion King Lion King um news, merchandise, like I show all the merchandise I get. That's Lion King. That's Disney. I'm a Disney connect collector. So you'll see a bunch of Disney um updates. Um my Disney merchandise I get. Um just the Disney content in general. So follow me if you'd like. I'd really enjoy if you. I'd really enjoy having you as a follower. So, so follow me if you'd like. And that's all I'm gonna say with this video. I guess. See, so see you later. See you in my next video. Don't know when that'll be. And I'm sorry I haven't been keeping up on my um on my uh merchandise videos on here because I've gotten a lot more stuff, especially with the new movie coming out. I've gotten a lot more stuff, and I'm sorry that I've been keeping you updated. I've been keeping you I've been keeping you updated on my Instagram, the King Simba 246 but I haven't been doing it on here. So if you want to see the new stuff that I got that I haven't posted on videos, you can see them on my Instagram. That's another reason you might want to follow me. Like I said, I'd love to have you as a follower. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Going to close the video out with one of my favorite quotes from The Lion King. Remember who you are. Because I think that's a very powerful statement. It's very powerful to me. And. This is. This is Gracie and Young Simba signing off. See you in my next video. Bye.